car.
Aniplex USA and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release.
Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. The winner of this month's poll is the Profession Picking Guide for Classic World of Warcraft. So we're sort of continuing my beginner guide series here. I started with races, and then I did classes. So today, professions. Following the scheme with my other videos, I'll try to cater more to the beginners into the classic scene. So just going over the basics here, about what each profession is, and maybe some highlights and popular items of each one their gold making potential, and also strengths for both PvE and PvP. And I'll also throw in my personal picks for each class at the end. The first thing I'll say is that professions as a whole are much more substantial than classic compared to current, is the best way that I can put it I guess. It is a bit counterintuitive, more and more recipes have been added over time, so how is it more substantial and classic? Well, we'll get to that for each profession. But in general, point one is that this was still before the age of hyper-balance, where everything must be 100% even with each other. There are items that only certain professions could use, and they'd give you a monstrous edge in both PvE and PvP. And point two is, with gold being so hard to come by in general. In the modern game, you kind of get gold passively just by playing the game, through world quests or table missions, generous vendor prices and so on. But back then, it's a struggle, so these professions are going to be vital. And point three is that some of them are quite grindy and difficult to level, which is just exacerbated by point two, so knowing what you want and what each one gives will save you a lot of time and money down the road, so you're not constantly switching around. We have 12 in total, and that's 9 primary and 3 secondary. Let's start with the primary professions first, specifically gathering, and work our way up from there. First up, we have the skinning profession. As you'd guess, you skin your slain enemies and harvest their precious hide. It's commonly paired with the leatherworking profession, where you can craft various leather and male armor pieces. More on that later. But overall, it's not too different from the current game, 